<coughs> oh God, it got me. It got me. <coughs> so my nose is starting to run. My <coughs> I'm coughing. My eyes are starting to tear up. Neighbor just came up to the roof and she walked in and it, <coughs> and it hit her as well. I'm like, under mud, <coughs> mud ah. She's like, don't come in. Namaste dosto. I've been carrying pepper spray here in India for two years because of the work that I do exposing scammers. There are people out there who are out to get me. So I have to have some form of protection and you'll be surprised. Yeah, there's 1.4 billion people, but I still run into people from my videos. I've run into people who were not happy with me three times now on the streets in Punjab and twice in Delhi. So it happens. So I need to carry some protection because they're not very happy with me usually, okay? And I'm gonna link to some of those videos below so you can go and watch what happens. I haven't had to use pepper spray here yet though, thank God, okay? One of the videos I made, I talk about self-defense and how it's important to de-escalate and escape, okay? So go and watch that. I'll link to that all in the description. Now today we're gonna review these five pepper sprays that are made here in India. I could not get the American pepper sprays to compare for you guys. They're literally sold out around the world. Mace is sold out and Sabre Red are sold out. Those are the two best pepper spray brands and I'm not gonna use this because this is my last canister of Mace. So we're gonna review these Made in India pepper sprays. They're all very cheap and they are available. But there's some, some huge differences, okay? So for example, only one of these mentions their OC percentage, only one. And none of them mention their major capsaicinoids percentage either. The American ones do. So I seriously wonder if these have been tested because those percentages tell you how strong your pepper spray is. So honestly, I have no idea how strong these are. We might find out because if you look on the packaging of these sprays here in India, it says when you spray, cover your nose and your mouth. And I'll tell you why that is, and maybe we'll find out why that is, because when you spray these, there's the chance that it will blow back in your face. A very high chance, especially if the manual is telling you to cover your mouth and nose when you shoot them. That is a very, very bad sign, and it tells me that these are probably all aerosol based. They're not gel and they're not foam based. And you know, you know what spraying an aerosol is like, right? It goes all around the place. It's not that targeted, unlike the American ones. They're far more targeted and use more of a gel formula than aerosol. But anyway, we're gonna go out there. We are gonna spray all of these. We're gonna shoot them all, I'll show you how to shoot. And let's find out which of these five is the best. And just a quick run around of these canisters. These three canisters are basically the same. They could have come from the same factory, okay? The only difference between these two and these three is this has a locking mechanism. Quite nice, but this is my favorite locking mechanism. You flip it up and you shoot. That is, according to me, the best locking mechanism. And this, is, well, this bottle is a clone of the American Sabre Red design and similar to Mace as well. They both flip up and shoot. So let's go and test these canisters now. We'll test how far they shoot, the spray pattern, and how much pepper spray you get per canister. All right, so let's go from cheapest to most expensive, and this is Half Genie's pepper spray. 165 rupees, or around $2.20 American, so costs absolutely nothing. It says it can shoot 12 feet, 3.5 meters, so let's see if it can do this. What does it say on the packaging? Never underestimate the power of a girl that knows what she wants. What that has to do with pepper spray, I don't know, but they tend here in India to just market pepper spray towards women, but in reality, it's a self-defense tool for anybody. So I'm at 12 feet here. Let's spray this bad boy over here and see what we get. Oh God, there is no way that that was 12 feet. This is useless. So the, the, the advertising, like this bull, there's bull on this. Okay, we'll go forward a bit. We'll go to like 10 feet. Will it hit my target? I don't know. Okay, I can see a little bit of spray on the face, but 
This is kind of pathetic, to be honest, the spray. Go up a bit closer. We're like basically a meter and a half away from the guy now. All right, now we're getting it. Yeah, baby. Take that, boy. All right. And that's it. It's, <coughs> it's done. And I'm getting the spray back. Because this is an aerosol, the spray, the droplets are very, very small and they'll just float around in the air and they will come back onto you. I was, <coughs> there it is. I tested, the <coughs> I tested this out yesterday and the same thing happened. It will spray back on you. And I purposefully chose the rooftop here because in real life there will be some wind, right? Okay, so when, when you get hit with pepper spray, your, air, your eyes start tearing up, your cough, if you get hit with it properly, you won't be able to see. You'll have to close your eyes and you'll just start crying. It really takes the fight out of you. If you were angry and ready to fight then, now you're thinking about yourself and how you can fix the problem that's happening in your body. It kind of shuts your, your brain down <coughs> and makes you focus more on yourself rather than you know, whoever you're attacking. <coughs> this is why I don't like aerosol sprays like this and why I prefer the gel or the foam based sprays. They travel through the air better and they're not gonna blow back on you. Chalo, let's go to the next one. All right, this one is Empower Defense Spray. They say 12 feet it can go. I highly doubt it because it's basically the same canister as the last one. It is 250 rupees, about $3.30 American. And it says 45 bursts. That last pepper spray was useless. It lasted, I don't know, three or four quite long bursts. This one says 45, so let's see. All right, 12 feet. Oh, geez. far out. The spray pattern on this one, I don't know if you could, <laughs> if you could see that, but it was like spraying in a, like a deodorant. The spray just flew and spread out massively. Not ideal, because what we're doing is we're trying to spray from left to right across our target's eyes, okay? This is just going to go everywhere and get everyone else standing around him. I don't even want to spray this anymore, but let's go up to about 10 feet. Yeah, it's, it's going to get him at that range, okay? 10 feet. It's going to hit him in the face, but there is going to be so, so much blowback on this one that no wonder they tell you to cover your nose and cover your mouth. This is the brand that tells you to do that. And <clears throat> it's no wonder because there is going to be blowback with this. Useless, man. We'll go a bit closer. <coughs> oh, I can't go too close. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God, it got me. It got me. <coughs> so my nose is starting to run. My <coughs> I'm coughing, my eyes are starting to tear up. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sneezing. Okay. <clears throat> so these are not the worst effects. If you get a direct hit in the face, like we're going from left to right across the eyes, right? Then the person's eyes should close and they should not be able to continue on. But actually, I wanted to feel the effects of the pepper spray because... If it blows back on you, you should know how to fight through it, how to keep going, okay? So that's why I'm not too worried about feeling these effects. I want to feel them, so if it happens to me, I can keep going. I can keep fighting and escape. <coughs> oh, God. All right, so I can definitely say these cheaper pepper sprays are working. I'm just concerned about the blowback, right? I shouldn't have to be like this right now if I'm the victim. <coughs> the reality is they are going to blow back on you, okay? Now this is <coughs> Empower's Extra Strength Spray. It says 2.5% OC spray, which is really quite weak compared to Mace and compared to Sabre, which are around 10%. But the real thing you want to know is the percentage of major capsaceans in it. Anywhere from like 0.6% to 1.2% is very strong, okay? But they don't tell you on any of these pepper sprays. Let's quickly test this. 
They say this one's stronger. Let's see. All right. It's exactly the same spray as before. Nothing different about it. It just has this extra strength. <coughs> oh, and there I can feel it. <coughs> For these to empower, you need to be within two meters of the person, okay? You need to be realistically around here if you really want to nail the guy in the face. But the thing is, the blowback is going to be incredible and it's gonna hit you. I'm in quite a ventilated part, right? I'm on the roof and there's a little bit of wind blowing. So, it does spread around, all right? Let's see how long this one lasts for. There's a few more sprays in it. So yeah, I think their claim is right. They will get about 45 bursts from this, really quick bursts. So it's shot for a lot longer than that Health Genie spray. But the spray pattern on Health Genie was better. You can see we actually <coughs> hit the target there as we got closer. Oh, mat anda, mat up. Neighbor just came up to the roof and she walked in and it, <coughs> and it hit her as well. I'm like, anda mat, mat ah. like don't come in. Because it's just hanging <coughs> in the air here. So I've opened a few of the windows, but. <coughs> if you spray this pepper spray inside or anywhere where it has like little kind of a roof, everyone in the room, it, is gonna get pepper sprayed, okay? And this is like five minutes after I sprayed it, it's still hanging in the air. And auntie got a hit of it when she walked in and started coughing. Oh, <coughs> yeah, do not buy these aerosol-based pepper sprays, guys. Like, you need the gel or the foam. <coughs> There's less chance of blowback, and it's not gonna pepper spray everybody in the frickin' room. God, they're cheap for a reason, man. There's been no research or development done on these. At least they. <coughs> told people on the packaging to cover your mouth and your nose when you spray it. Seriously, it's crap. And I, I, had to, I had to go and wash my face because I guess the spray stuck onto my sweat and when the sweat was coming down into my eyes, it was hitting me again, so yeah. Bad stuff, bad stuff. If it was a gel or a foam or some kind of more targeted aerosol, we wouldn't have this problem, honestly. It's so bad. All right, let's get back to work. We've got two more to test. The two best ones, I'm hoping they're the best. They're the most expensive. We've got Securitronics Commando Pepper Spray. 20 bursts, they say 20 feet it can reach. 20 feet is quite a claim. And it's 299 rupees or $4 American. And it's got the flip top like mace and like saber red. So I really like that. This is the kind of one you can keep in a holster. Quick holster, bang, like that. I really, really hope it's not an aerosol, that it's more of a gel. I'm sick of getting pepper sprayed. So we're not gonna try it from 20 feet. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it won't get that. Let's try here from 12 feet. Ah, uh, can this tell straight away? Piece of sh Wow, it doesn't even work. Absolutely useless. It gets about a meter and a half, two meters max, okay? <clears throat> 20 feet my foot. We'll go a bit closer. Wow, not even a meter and a half, guys. <coughs> and it's having firing issues. Yeah, this one's pathetic. It looks like it can do the job with the advanced design and the more expensive price, but yeah, it's crap. Okay, there it is. <coughs> so yeah, if you really get within like a 
couple of feet or less than a meter, you can spray the guy with this. What rubbish claims they have. 20 feet, whatever. All right, last one, Cobra Magnum, the most expensive, 500 rupees. And it says it's 7% OC spray. It's actually the major capsaicinoids which tell you how strong it is. But this one has one of these kind of nice lock and unlock switches so you're not gonna accidentally fire it. And it makes it a bit more compact, okay? You don't have this big head over it like you do with those cheaper ones. So good to carry in the pocket. Now let's see, they say 12 feet and it can take down eight to nine attackers. Hope it doesn't take down the whole room like it's been doing. Jeez. All right, from 12 feet. Oh, yay. Wah. Yay, kiata. This is the stuff. This is strong as, strong as hell. I gotta have to clean the wall now. The whole wall got covered. Again, it's that aerosol though. So you got the guy there, anyone standing on either side of him or anyone just behind him is gone as well with this stuff. Let me blast it a few more times. And it definitely hit 12 feet, guys. Definitely hits 12 feet. There's some kind of different technology in here. The bottle's actually getting colder, so it's pressurized, I think. The bloody fly on me. I'll spray you, you damn fly. <coughs> and that's it. <coughs> I can feel that from 12 feet away. Jeez. <coughs> I gotta go. <coughs> Hang on. Okay, so I'm standing here off camera drinking water and spitting it out at the moment because that spray <coughs> was damn strong. Oh God, <coughs> really strong stuff. So that's the one I'll be carrying, I think. But you have to know what's gonna happen when you spray these things because they're just so bad. The way they, they blow back, oh, geez. <coughs> Not ideal, guys. You don't really want to be hitting innocent people nearby, right? With your pepper spray when you're defending yourself. Especially if you're going to spray it indoors. You can't spray that indoors because everyone's going to get a whiff of it. Everyone's going to be coughing. It's just not safe. Alright, dostos. So, that did not go how I expected it to go, right? I did not expect so much blowback from these sprays. I knew there'd be some, but not that much. So, so I had a shower because the pepper spray went all over my arms and my legs. And I could feel it burning my entire body. And you can see here, I've had some kind of reaction as well. There's a bit of blood on my arm from some kind of like little lumps that have come up. So yeah, I've had some kind of allergic reaction to it as well. So yeah, clearly it, it's nasty stuff and it works. I felt the full effects. And I wasn't even sprayed properly in the face. If I had been covered by these in the face, my eyes would be shut and it would just take the attack out of me. It would take the fight out of me. I would not be able to attack anybody and that's what you want. The point of a pepper spray is to take the fight out of a person and disable them for a small amount of time so you can escape. That's what these are for. And it says it can take the fight out of them for up to 30 minutes if it's strong enough. So the problem with these though, is obviously the technology. There's been no testing, there's no, these aren't high tech, right? These are just Jugard low quality pepper sprays with no technology. So the spray pattern is huge as we saw and they're aerosol based, so they're not targeted at all. They just get sprayed everywhere. And that's a problem because as you saw, everybody in the room would have got pepper sprayed. It's like when you spray a deodorant and everybody around can smell it for a few seconds after you sprayed it. That's exactly what's happening with these pepper sprays. And you saw Auntie come in. There had been at least a minute or two since I'd sprayed the actual pepper spray and she walked into whatever mist was still there and felt the effects. So yeah, they work, but these are budget, low quality, horrible to use because they're gonna spray back on you. That's not what you want. You wanna attack the offender, not have it spray back on you and have you coughing and spluttering while you're trying to escape. Not good. These are mostly buckwas. Rubbish. Now, if I had to choose one out of all these bad pepper sprays, I would go with the Cobra Magnum. It was really, really strong. They had pressurized this can properly, so even though it had a big spray pattern, 
just one spray of this would really, really cover someone's face and take them out of the game so I could escape. So I'll carry this as a secondary. This is the one I feel most confident with. But honestly, guys, you've seen how these operate. So if you're gonna carry a pepper spray, at least buy one extra and go outside and spray the whole, the whole bottle and just learn how it works. Learn how you can avoid that spray back. You, you're not gonna be able to you know, cover your nose and cover your mouth when you're spraying this. This is not gonna happen when you're trying to save your life. I will make a video on the American pepper sprays that I like soon. Sabre Red and Mace I will cover because they're simply superior and you will see how much more targeted this is and how there's no spray back, okay? Or there's very less spray back, unlike these damn aerosol versions, they're horrible. And I'll probably make some videos around guns and gun carry and what's legal and illegal here in India as well. So hit subscribe, Jay Hind.